Jenny Macklin, thank you. And it's great to see you here tonight. Why is it so important, do you think, for you to be here showing your support? It's really important for so many people to be here tonight to show that each and every one of us can make a difference, that we can do our bit to help Aboriginal people get a job, hold a job, make sure we do everything to encourage children to stay at school, support parents as they bring their children up. So it's a very, very important time for all of us to come together in the interests of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. Is it at all concerning that the, the business community and big heavyweights feel that they've had to almost take it into their own hands with campaigns like this, not feeling that maybe the government initiatives have been enough to, to date? No, I think it's all about partnership. I think it's recognising that no one part of this country can close the gap. We have to do it together. And, of course, to see business really say it's time we put our hand up, it's time that we did everything we can to employ Aboriginal people, to give them a chance to create their own wealth, to work with government. Of course, the government too has responsibilities and we've put an enormous amount of money and uh, also, I think, um, a dedicated effort into closing the gap. We know we can't do it by ourselves. We need to do it with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, with business, with community groups, and together we can make a difference. The national apology to the stolen generations uh, just over two years ago now. How do you show what's really changed since then, though? And targets set out by governments are five and ten years out. I mean, it's a long, slow slug. It is going to take time to close the gap, we've always known that, but we also know that if we're of good heart, if we're prepared to work together, then we can make a difference to people's lives. We can make sure that kids get to school and get the education that will make a difference in their lives. We can do the things in the health system that mean that people, Aboriginal people aren't carrying these terrible chronic disease loads that they have. We can make a difference uh, to unemployment so that people can have the chance to have a job and have a better life. So if we work together, we can get those uh, gaps closed. How do you measure it? Is it by the statistics? Because by all accounts, every, it's, it's unable to be argued that against the statistics, they tell the story. Certainly by the statistics, but one of the wonderful thing about tonight, things about tonight is that you can see so many positive role models. When you listen to Tanya Major tonight, listen to her stories, listen to uh, the young people who are coming through, who've got their education, who are great Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander leaders, they're the people we're here to support. So much on the government's plate at the moment, though, health reform, climate change, the Telstra bill stuck. Where is this in the list of priorities? Well, I think you can see tonight it's very close to the top because we know that the Australian people really do want to see this gap closed and they know that they've got a role to play and that's really what tonight's about. Each and every Australian can play a role, whether you're someone like Andrew Forrest running a very big business, whether you're the Prime Minister of the country or whether you're a person running a small business in a country town. We can all make a difference. Jenny Macklin, thank you very much. Thank you. For generations and generations, we believe that this great nation.